Hello everyone, hope you all are very well. The topic for this video is temperature and humidity in microbiology lab. So there are different kinds of thermohygrometers or hygrometers available in the market. You can find digital or analog hygrometer easily available in the market. In our microbiology lab, we are using digital thermohygrometer as you can see in the picture. So first we should know why we are using this hygrometer in microbiology lab. Laboratory needs a wide range of temperature monitoring products to help ensure quality and accuracy during work. So for this purpose thermohygrometers are used in micro lab to check temperature and humidity. This instrument is also used in industrial settings, manufacturing, greenhouses, museum and warehouse etc. They are precise scientific instrument used to measure humidity. They measure relative humidity which is the amount of vapor in the air compared to the highest possible amount in percentage. So what are the problems related to high or uncontrolled humidity? High humidity may lead to home pollutants, mold and viruses, while low levels may cause skin irritation, electrostatic discharge and breathing problems. And so for example, the breathing problem may lead to disturbance in work. So it is not wrong if we say the ideal indoor humidity levels for comfort and for avoiding health effects are between 35 and 60 percentage. So for example, if you are sitting or spending time in increased humidity levels in excess of 60%, it's likely that you will experience certain health issues. So let's start our monitoring on humidity and temperature in micro lab. Check the calibration status of instrument first. And here I am setting uh, the honey well to set the temperature but it's not necessary during the monitoring. Check the temperature and relative humidity displayed in the digital hygrometer. Record the temperature and relative humidity at the starting of the shift plus minus 30 minutes and after every 4 hours plus minus 30 minutes or as per your prepared SOPs. The location of hygrometer or thermohygrometer in microbiology lab must be in media preparation room, microbial limit test and lal testing room, sterility lab or sterility testing room. The acceptance criteria may vary as per the country and zone. After monitoring, I will record the data of temperature and humidity in microbiology lab in this logbook. So this is a tag we prepared for our log register. The title name, department name, section name, document number and its version, room number where the document is placed and located, logbook number and the issue date of the log register. The document all concerned with ISO 9001. As per our lab SOP, we are doing two times in a day a monitoring of humidity and temperature in microbiology lab. So I am writing it down. So I have already done my first monitoring at 9.40 am. The results in front of you. Now I am doing my second monitoring that is at 2.30 pm and the results are also under limits. After writing the result, I will do my sign in a sign column. And after the completion of one week, I will let do sign this document by my manager. Thank you for watching this video and if you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe and also share with your friends.